Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom table view cell. So you know how to make a table view, but now you want to step up your game and make a custom table view cell so that you can display some images and some text in your table view and customize it however you want to. So in this video, I'm going to show you just that. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching. So the first step to creating a custom table view cell is of course creating a new Xcode project. This is going to be a single view application. What do you want Xcode? Nothing? Okay. It's going to be a single view application. Let's click next and then name it um, custom cell. You name it whatever you want to. And the language is should be set to Swift. Let's save it. And we are going to start by just creating a normal table view cell. And I presume that uh, you already know how to do this. I'm just going to quickly go through it. But if you want to know how to do this more in depth, then I have a separate video on how to create a table view, which wouldn't be a bad idea to watch where I explain everything in more detail. But right now I'm just going to create, simply create a new table view. And um, I'm going to connect it, control drag, to the yellow button right there, data source, and control dragging to the delegate. And now we are going to add in the extra things in our view controller that we need in order to start working with our table view. So that is going to be our UI table view data source and our UI table view delegate. But I don't think I have explained yet what our app is going to do. And I'm going to do that now. And what our app is going to do is it's going to display table view cells. And in each table view cells, we're going to have an image of an animal and then the name of the animal on the right side. So we're just going to continue with setting up our table view. And we do that by command clicking on our UI table view data source and searching for number of rows. And we are going to go for these two functions right here. So just copy them and paste them and remove all the excess. And here we are asked to define the number of cells. And here we are asked to fill in those cells. So what we are going to do is we're going to first get the image of our animals and then create an array with those images. So I'm just going to head over to Safari and find some images of animals and see if they have some fancy animals here. We are going to go for the panda. Don't know that. We're going to go for the elephant. I'm going to go for the elephant and I'm going to go for this lion right here. So let's shut down Safari, go to my downloads copy these images and drag them into our folder and make sure or I would encourage you to name these images the name of the animal which is going to save us a bit of a time a bit time so let's see this is going to be a lion and this is going to be an elephant and then we're going to create an array with the name of those animals so we're going to say let animals is equal to panda and lion and elephant. So those are our names of those animals and make sure that these match exactly the name that you gave your images. So we can now return the amount of uh, cells of rows that we need, which is animals.count. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our custom table view cell, which is of course the main topic of this video. So we're going to click on our table view and then create a new prototype cell. Click on that prototype cell and just give it an identifier. I'm going to name it cell. Then make sure that the style is set to custom and I'm going to drag it a bit. I'm going to give it some more height. And I'm going to drag in our image view. And of course you can drag in whatever you like. And at the end of this video, you will be able to drag in anything 
and then make it work for you. But right now we're just going to drag in an image view, make it an aspect fit so that they don't get too much distorted. And I'm going to drag in a label, which of course is going to display the name of our respective animal. So let's see, let's center that, increase the size a bit, center the text. And then I'm also going to put some constraints on these objects so that they stay nice and in place. Just constraints on top, to the right, by the bottom, and then an aspect ratio. So here is our custom table view cell, but there's one more thing that we need in order to be able to populate this, this cell. And that we do by going to File, New, File, and Cocoa Touch Class, create a new Cocoa Touch Class, and then make it a UI table view cell, and then I'm just going to name it the name of my main view controller, view controller table view cell. I usually do that. I don't know if it's required. I'm just naming it view cell, the name of my main view controller, and then table view cell. Click next and save it in your project folder. And this should really be all that we need. Uh, no, it's not all we need, <laughs> sorry. We are going to click on the prototype cell and then we are going to go find the inspector and we're going to set the class to be equal to the file that we just created, which was view controller table view cell. So let's click on that one. And now we can head, no, we can't. <laughs> sorry for those uh, false, uh, uh, things I'm talking about here. Now we need to drag in our objects into this file that we just created. So our view controller table view cell. So let's click on our image view, drag it in and name it my image. Then click the label, drag that in, control drag it and call it my label. Now we have everything. Now we head over to the view controller. And now that we have our view controller in front of us, we are going to create or populate each custom cell. And we do that by first creating a cell, which is going to be let cell is equal to table view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier, which was cell for index path. We're just going to let that be. Uh, index path and then we're going to say as and then exclamation mark and then the name of the file that we created so that was view controller table view cell and now we will be able to access the elements that we dragged into our table view cell so we're now going to say cell dot my image dot image is equal to a UI image named, this is the name of the image, which is animals, animals dot index path dot row plus and then the ending of the, the extension of the image, which is dot JPG, just like that. And then I'm going to say cell dot my label dot text is equal to, and I'm just going to copy this and paste it right in here. And because it wants something returned, which is my table cell, my table view cell, I'm going to return my cell. So let's try to launch this app and see what we've got. There's an error here, insert this one. No, that shouldn't be inserted there. Let's see what the error is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we need some of these. I'm not sure what, what braces, brackets, something. <laughs> Let's just launch the application and see what we've got. Let's change the focus to what we've just created. And I believe that this should look exactly as we want it to look. So here is our app, as you can see, it almost looks as beautiful as we wanted it to. The only reason that it's not perfect is because we designed it on an iPhone 7 and launched it on an iPhone SE and the elephant didn't display 
and that's because that's a JPEG. So let's try to change that to a JPG and let's try to launch it again. And now it should look as beautiful as we made it look. So here's our finished app project and why Apple made their simulator so huge for the iPhone 7 Plus, I've still not grabbed. But uh, here you see, here is our custom table views. We've got the panda, we've got the lion, and we've got an elephant looking great. And this is how you design your own table view. As you probably uh, did the guess, you can drag any element into this custom table cell drag anything into it and it will display nicely as long as you follow the steps that we just went through. Thank you for watching. Make sure that if you enjoy this video that you click the subscribe button and then I will see you back in the next video. And once again, thank you for watching.